day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm trying to say. Melon does not dictate dictate behavior. And you know what I'm saying, too? Melon does not create a weed. What am I saying? It's not a weed that's responsible for the few just because of the melon or lack of melon in our skin. You, I, you know what the we is? <laughs> we in the United States have a responsibility because we in the United States are supposed to clean our house and deal with the different shortfalls and issues in our country. We. That's where the we is. See, we are citizens of the United States. We are responsible for abiding by the laws, and addressing uh, hunger, addressing uh, attacks against our country. We, now we're in the we, because that's, that's a choice. But we, none of us have a choice based on the melanin in our skin. And we don't sit there and, and, and when somebody want to sit there and try to categorize people, your behavior is not based on this color of your skin. That's just, you, that's a lie. That's a foundation of a lie. You can't build on a lie. So just go back to the scriptures again because if you build on a lie, it's going to fall. It's going to fall flat on its face. It's definitely going to fall before the eyes of God when you, you as an individual, you as an individual, that sits there and try to link people based on their color. What you gonna do when you go before God? Cause that's very important for every last one that's listening to this video. What are you gonna do when you go before God? What you gonna say? Well, the, the majority of us, well see the majority of us can go to hell. If we follow the the, the, the road, the broad way to destruction, hey, hey buddy, the broad way to destruction leads us to hell. Lead us to death. Christ said the narrow path is 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 the way to God, and that narrow path path is not based on the law, following the law. But if you're following the law, the the, the other way is broad way of destruction, because nobody's following the law. All that comes in the short of the glory of God. What are you teaching your children? What are you teaching and enforcing in yourself? If you don't follow the foundation of Christ, what are you standing on and how do you expect to, to, uh, to make it? So we'll go back to this again. Because you really got to answer that for yourself. What are you standing on, please? Please, what are your foundation? What is your foundation? Christ said, Therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and does of them, I will liken him unto a wise man, a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, it fell not, but it was founded upon a rock. Verse 26. And Everyone that hearing these saying of mine, not the saying of a racist, not the saying of a hate person. And I'm talking about where well, you could be, you know, you could be a black racist, you could be a white racist, you could be all kinds. Anybody that's a racist is somebody who sit there and hate somebody just based on the soul complexion, soul melanin in their skin. Or like that. Uh, you could be it. You could be a right racist, you could be a black racist. And really, there's only two distinct colors. You got melon or you don't have melon. There's people who sit there and make themselves a race based on the language. Well, your your language does not make a race at all. Your color does not make it. There's only one race, a human race. See, you know, you got the same organs. You got the same uh, skin. I ain't talking about you may have different colors of your skin. But you're all, all on one race. All of you can have surgery and you can put parts and 
different pe- your bodies and stuff. You you all can do that, right? Because that's because you're all the same. You know, you 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 could swap parts, right? That because you're the same. So the a- exterior doesn't do it. It just remember this God just the heart. But look what it says in twenty six. Everyone that hearing the sayings of mine, that's everyone, and does them what not. Does see you 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 did do it based on somebody that has a uh, <coughs> uh, desire to do bad. You you can you you can say I I did this on what somebody else said. I did this on what my parents told me, right? But see, what the saying we're talking about, what did Christ say? What did Christ say? What does the word say? When when the devil attacked Christ in the wilderness, Christ responded, but what does the word say? So when I'm sitting there telling you, those of you are in Christ, what does the word say? Because he's saying here, everyone that hears these saying of mine, the word, and does them not, and does not the word of God, does not do the word of God, does not respond based on what the word of God says, but what you think, and whatever your little pet peeves are. The scripture says, those who does not do what he say shall be likened unto a foolish man. Are you a foolish man or woman? Are you foolish? Are you foolish? You need to want to tie to be coming one day and say, are you foolish? <laughs> are you foolish? Because he said, everyone that hear these sayings of mine that does them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which builds his house upon the sand, not rock, not something solid, but on sand, and the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. If you build your foundation, if you build your foundation on sand, you're going to have a great fall. It doesn't matter whether that fall is going to happen when you're young, a fall is going to happen when you're old, fall is going to happen with you, your grandchildren, because if your grandchildren are raised on lies, then you're going to have a great fall. You don't want to have a great fall. You want to stand on a rock so that there is no falling that's standing. You don't want to build your life on dark God saying, because if you do, you're a foolish person. You don't want to be a fool. You want to be wise. You want to teach your children to be wise. Not based on lies. Please do not build a foundation on lies. This is a scripture that I wanted to put up here. And and since, you know, since my, my, my panel, uh, then sure we're gonna go with one hour, amen. So we almost almost over. Hey, hallelujah! But it's, it's important for you and for me to to recognize that we got to build our foundation on what the word says. I think that's why the scripture was talking about uh, Christ, uh, the temptation of Christ, because see we're following in Christ, right? And we go by what's written. <laughs> I mean, we got to use his example. What is written, right? So look at this. And why it's so important not to build your foundation on sand. And why it's important for you not to be a foolish person. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. And we're going to weave in our history, weave in our current living and life applying it to our life now as we go. These six things does the Lord hate, not what you hate. 
Because some of you talk to people that hate based on the color of the skin. You taught, teaching, generation to generation to hate based on the color of the skin. That is so foolish. These six things does the Lord hate. You supposed to go by the word of God. Look at Nehemiah, see what my spies said and said. Read the word distinctly. These six things does the Lord hate. And yet we, because of our foolishness, have gone after people doing the going using the things that God hates. Come on, I'll get off this test slide for a second. We who sit there and have our own personal things that we hate, use the things that God hates to address the things that we hate, opposed to the things that God hates. You can't use the tool that God hates and think that God is going to respect you, honor you. You may get honor from other people, but you're not going to get honor from God. And it matter whose honor do you want? Whose respect, whose approval do you want? You love to go and get approval of man, but man will put you in hell. They can't deliver you out of hell. God will put you there because you earned it. And you earned it based on trying to be and please man. Don't please man, please God. Huh? Hebrews 11, 6. That is, a, is that faith, without faith, it's impossible to please him, please God. Well, he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. Seek him first, right? That was the scripture that seek him first. Not seek man approval. Not your approval. If your approval is based on hate, you are out of order. And God is going to deal with you. Not me. I'm not going to deal with you. That's not my responsibility. I ain't create nothing. But God did. And he's telling you. Look at his words again. These six things does the Lord hate. Come on now. Yay. Seven are abomination to him. Listen what the word says. Listen what is written. Don't get all deep and try to do it outside. You don't use these tools. Do you hear me? You don't use these tools. This is what they got. A proud look. If you're sitting there saying I'm superior based on the sole purpose of the metal of my skin or the lack thereof, that I'm superior, that's pride. A proud look. These six things that the Lord hates. If you operated in a proud look, said I'm better than you based on lies. Hitler, when Jesse Owens said they ran that race, Hitler was saying is that the lie is that the person <coughs> is superior and faster based on just the soul smelling in their skin or lack thereof, that he's superior based on the lack thereof. Why did the man that had melon beat the other guy? Why? Because if the guy stood his foundation on the melon, sole purpose of the melon and skin, he couldn't win. He can win based on his talent and his ability as an individual, not as a group of people connected just based on the melon or lack of melanin in the skin. You, you know, that's not a foundation that you can hang your hat on. And that becomes a lie in itself. So a proud look. Those who want to sit there and say, I'm superior. Those who sit there and say, I'm better. That's a proud look. Because God looks at all of us from the heart and he looks at all of us equally. So if you sit there and operate in a pride and proud, it's saying a proud look. Especially if you try to say you're, you're proud of to, to belittle somebody else. 
Here's a big one. And this applies even to the politics today. A lying tongue. Let's, let's, let's come off this for a second and let's look at this. A lying tongue. Six things that God hates and lying tongue is one of them. Why would you, regardless of politics, regardless of whatever you thought of the prayer, why would you sit there and operate on a lying tongue when it's one of the things that God hates? I'm talking to you because somebody is listening to this. Why would you operate in lying tongues? And that's one of the things that God hates. You don't operate in a lying tongue because that's not what you want to do. You don't want to displease God. You want to please God. You can please man, but man will put you in hell or lead you to hell, lead you to destruction. He says six things that God hates. One, a proud look. Don't sit there and try to tell people I'm so I'm greater, especially on a lie. Greater than what? On a lie? You gonna sit there and tell people uh, that you have a lying tongue? When it hate God hates it? You rather please people going on a lie instead of breaking and looking at what God hates? And say, God, I want to please you. I got to please you. And I can't please you in a lie. Please. Don't follow destruction. The devil has used the word of God. There's no justification for you lying. There's no justification for you. tell me. And you tell me what you like when somebody lie about you. You tell me, please, I'd like to know, where is it that you like people lying about you? If you don't like people lying about you, why would you do and operate and lie yourself? What pleasure a pleasing man will make a difference in causing God to hate you? I, I just want to know. Of all the things we deal with politics and we know it's a lie and we'll go ahead and live by the lie. Condemning an entire group of people because they all got to go before God. And what you gonna, what you going to tell God? What are you going to tell God? I, I, you guys see, I think that a lot of people don't understand. What do you tell your creator when you go before him and you knew you operate on a lot. You're gonna say, Well, Lord, I, I, I had to do that because see, those I didn't like those Democrats. I didn't like those Republicans. I didn't like those people that had more melon in their skin or the lack of melon in their skin. Therefore, Lord, I, I had to operate in a lot. See, so I did it because see, I didn't I didn't like I didn't like their policy, so I'm gonna operate a lot. What what does that gonna do? What's what is it gonna do for you? Well, we just read the fact that Christ said that those who do hear the saying of mine and do them, I like them as a wise man. So when you do opposite, you don't do what he says. He said you build your foundation on the sand and you're going to have to have that foundation going before God individually. What are you going to say? But Christ said, if you do the saying of mine, not the saying of man, not the saying of the politics, not the saying whether you are a Republican or a Democrat, not those, those sayings do not, that foundation is not going to stand before the eyes of God. You can it'll stand before the eyes of man. And if that's all you want to do in life is stand before the eyes of man, you go ahead. Because standing on man will get you not eternal life, but eternal death. Because you still got to go before God and what you're going to say. Samuel, hey, remember Saul. Those of you in the Bible, those of you who know scripture. Saul said that the people did it, made me do it. When he was instructed to go and do all the things, kill, kill everything. And he did it. He kept the sheep, the sheep, the sacrifice, didn't even kill the king. 
and that's Old Testament. So let's just keep in mind, that's Old Testament. But in the end, he said, because he did it because of the people. And he lost his kingdom because God don't want to hear that. What did I tell you, son? All the way back in Genesis. God said, did you eat from that tree, Adam? That I told you not to eat from? What did Adam say? Well, the woman you gave me told me that I didn't eat. Adam. Just like that script we just read about Jesus said, if you're here to say the mind to do is them. What did you what did I tell you, Adam? I asked you, did you eat from the tree that I told you not to eat from? His excuse was the woman that you gave me gave me the fruit I did eat. Adam. That's what God is going to talk to you as an individual. Same to me as well. Did you do what I told you to do? 